Hi, it's Bridget. Nice to see you today. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the topic of age and the afterlife. I bet you're curious, aren't you, about how it works when someone dies? Do we continue to celebrate their birthdays even if they're dead? Do they celebrate their birthdays even if they're dead? Or do they celebrate like their death date because that's actually a birth into their spirit only? I, how does that work? Well, first of all, we're both human and we're spirit right now. As you and I are connecting, as you're listening, you have a soul, you have a spirit, you're totally connected to that eternal life because of that. And you have a physical human body. And at some point, you, brave soul, were a very brave soul because you actually made a choice to come in to this body, whatever lifetime you have now, and to incarnate. So your birthday is your incarnation day. And it's really a day that you were brave. You were really brave because as you well know, being a person, sometimes it really does have its challenges. And so that's a big deal. So birthdays are special because you made a powerful choice to become a person and embark on this adventure, this journey. And so it would be natural then to wonder, so once your body dies and your spirit, since it's eternal, what happens to like the age thing? You know, how does that work? And then what if somebody reincarnates? Does their age clock start over again? Well, age is associated with the body. It's a human life thing. It's the way that we linearly organize time. We mark the passage of time. We have to have some way to organize this human life, this structure that we're living in. And so a good way to do that is through years, through calendar, through hours, through dates, and through time. And so it's funny because um, I was connecting this morning this morning, it's a birthday of a very famous purple, I want to say genius, because his energy is here and I can feel him, uh, Prince in the afterlife, uh, wonderful spirit, uh, very fun to be around in the afterlife, very philosophical at times, very teaching, very, very helpful, very good friend. Thank you for being here. He just popped in. I didn't expect that. I just wanted to talk about age and the afterlife, but he pops in right away. So this morning I saw some comments about his, his human life. He would have a birthday today. And so his body would continue to age and people are celebrating his birthday. And that's fine because that's his reincarnation. That's his incarnation day. That's his, his celebrating his choice to become a person. That's a, that's a good thing to celebrate you guys. Um, and so he popped in and when I was uh, making a comment about, um, I was going to make a comment, I thought, what should I share about this? Because incarnation is a big deal, um, but birthdays, not so much. It's not doesn't mean the same thing in the spirit afterlife as it does to us as people. And he, <laughs> he then he says, right away, I heard this right clear as day. He said, age is just a number, but he wrote it as a pound sign. And I'm like, age is just pound sign? Like in my head, that's how I saw it because I'm clairvoyant. I'm like, age is just a number. But I'm like, age is just a pound sign. Does that mean you gain weight as you get older? I mean, what's the bodies are bodies are heavy and spirit is so light and free. What's the deal with that? You know, it's just funny. I'm like, pound sign, you know? I'm like, okay. Or hashtag. Nowadays it would be on Twitter, it'd be like that. On the Twitters, it would be like the hashtag. <laughs> age is just a hashtag. Which actually, quite interestingly, that is hello social metaphor right there, isn't it? very much so and so I had to share that but it would be a milestone birthday for him and so it would be a milestone incarnation celebration so incarnation celebration at the next birthday party just say oh happy incarnation <laughs> to other people <laughs> next time somebody has a birthday just say happy incarnation <laughs> they might think you've had a little bit too much of the lemonade the special lemonade at the party <laughs> Oh, interesting. But it is joyful. It is something to be lighthearted about. Uh, the passage of time is a physical thing. It is not a spiritual thing. And so I wanted to share with you about a little bit about how I see spirit in the afterlife. I should actually record this video for um, my Above Life channel because it's a good piece of information too, but I'll share it with you here. And that is when I see spirit in the afterlife, it really is up to the spirit. And it's also up to the person receiving the message. How does the person, you having the session, expect to see your grandfather or your sister 
or whomever your loved one is in the afterlife, how do you expect to see them? They will likely show up in ways that you will recognize them. However, in my experience, I often see people like, um, like the people that I, I channel, like Prince, like Elvis, like, and just because I recently just channeled Elvis, that's why he's on my brain. But anybody that I channel, famous people or any, any former person, the spirits that I connect with in the afterlife, they will show me a time, they'll show me themselves in a way that I will recognize them or in a way that it's from a time in their life or a period of their life that they want to talk about or focus on or it's from a time in their life that they felt really good, really good. So sometimes it's like if you're connecting to someone, like say it's a grandfather who was in, uh, especially like, I see this a lot, like World War II era or in the military as a, somebody with a military connection and they're really proud of that, they sometimes will show up like a young soldier. Like I can see a grandpa who died when he was like 89 and he actually looks like he's 18. You know, high and tight haircut, good looking, really strong, like in his military uniform, that kind of thing um, is not uncommon at all. And, and so the only way that they're familiar is through the energy. <laughs> so I have to describe how they look and then, then they, they kind of show me their best self first or the part of themselves that they want to talk about. And then we have this conversation. That's what happens. So, um, and you'll notice that in my videos too, that I, when I do public channeling and I share it with you, I really go to great lengths to describe in detail what I'm seeing and how they look because it, it's reflective of whatever the content or the topic is or how they want to be received at that point. And so like Prince will show up in lots of different ways for me. Um, his hair will look different um, at different points in his career. Like sometimes I'll see him with the afro and his, you know, third eye glasses. Um, sometimes, uh, a lot of times I'll see him kind of in the uh, musicology era and then with like his hair like super short on one side and kind of nice on the top, like a little bit longer on the top. I mean, uh, but I've seen him in a lot of different ways and that's different stages of his life, different parts of his career and that kind of a thing. And so, and the same with Elvis when I did my um, afterlife conversation with Elvis and I channeled with him, I think the first or second time I've channeled with him a few times now. Really nice guy, really nice guy, and uh, really nice spirit. <laughs> really easy, easy, easy to be with. Um, easy on the energy instead of easy on the eyes. He's easy on the energy. Really easy to be. Really easy to be around. Very easy to be around. And he um, he showed me in the same session. He showed me multiple, a couple of different um, images of how he looks. And he showed up in different ways when we talked about different parts of his life. He brought it forward by transitioning into the way he looked at the, like at near closer to the time of his death. He showed me that. And then as we talked, he showed me the younger version of Elvis, you know. And so, like, you know, the young movie star version of Elvis and stuff, which is really fun. It's so fun to be able to see that and connect in different ways with different aspects of life. So, so I hope you've enjoyed this interesting video about age and the afterlife. This is Bridget. You can find me on YouTube. It's a great place to find me on the Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel. And also, if you haven't already liked or subscribed to my new channel where I do weekly channeling with a lot of different kinds of interesting, well-known spirits in the afterlife that you will recognize, that is at Above, Above Life channel on YouTube. Thanks for being